previously in the last episode of The New Girl. Lucy went into the forest and found a witch who told her that her crush, Leo, was probably cheating on her with another girl. On top of that, Lucy continues her quest to the castle but is unsure if she should continue her quest or not. She also finds a weird guy in the forest who really likes beavers and kind of freaks her out. Stay tuned to see what happens next. Oh, uh, hey, you're actually really cute. I don't know if I told you that before. Ah, uh, really? Thanks. I think you're pretty cute, too. Yeah. In fact, you're the only girl I'm talking to right now, to be honest. What? Really? I was sure you'd have a ton of girls all over you since you're the only guy in our class. No, actually, you're the only one I've talked to so far. Uh, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Yeah? What do you want to ask me? I, uh, actually want to know if you want to be my- <gasps> Wait, was that a dream or was that real? Wait, where am I? Oh, I guess I built this campsite the other night when traveling it. Oh, Mr. Chicken! You're here too! I missed you! Wait, Mr. Chicken, who's that in the background? Is that your imposer? You're not the real Mr. Chicken! This is the real Mr. Chicken! Bok? Wait, Mr. Chicken! They're trying to be you! Why would you go hang out with them? Bok, bok! Wait, you have a lover, Mr. Chicken? <gasps> He's going up so fast! <laughs> oh my gosh, even my pet chicken can get a boyfriend, but I can't. Oh, whatever. Well, I actually built this whole campsite the other night when I was traveling. Uh, because I got tired and it was really late. But I guess Mr. Chicken and his lover must have followed me here. I don't know what I should do. Should I just head out? Should I continue going to the castle? I really don't know anymore. <sighs> What should I do? Bok bok. You guys think I should go? Uh, I don't know about that. What all would chickens know anyways? If curses are real, or if there's a castle, or... Uh, fine, fine. I guess I might give it a try. It doesn't hurt to try. All right. I'll see you soon, Mr. Chicken. All right, well, I guess we're headed west or whatever. I'm just gonna see if we can find some sort of lost castle in the forest. Ugh, we'll see if we could find it. Ugh, this castle could be anywhere. Ugh, so many trees. Be hard to find it. Oh, oh what are you doing out here? Oh, uh, me? What? No, I'm a tree. Uh, you're not a tree. <laughs> Why are you standing like that? I'm a tree! Uh, good try, but that's not working. Why are you following me? Like, you're following me, aren't you? What? Following? Uh, no. I'm, I'm going to work. Yeah, sure. So I guess your work is being a tree? Well, yeah, I have to practice looking good as a tree. Beavers like trees, and I like beavers. That is the weirdest thing anyone has ever said. Okay, if you don't mind, can you please stop following me around? I have business to do. Well, maybe if you let me hang out with you, I'll let you see one of my beavers. No, ew, stop following me. Gosh, beaver boy's so annoying. I doubt he'd know where any castle is anyways. Uh, actually, I do know where the castle is. You know where the castle is? Are you messing with me? Uh, I'm actually not messing with you. I know where the castle is. How would you know where the castle is? Besides, you're just a beaver boy. Uh, I used to bring some of my beavers to the king. He really enjoyed them. Okay, beaver boy, if you know so much about the king and the castle, then why don't you lead the way and show me about this castle and these so-called beavers, why don't you? Wait, let me come with you? Yeah, as long as you stop pretending to be a tree. Fine, I'll stop being a tree. Oh, good, that's what I thought. All right, now show me the way. Follow me. All right, I'm following you. All right, it looks like the castle's- oh, It's right there! Ah, what are you doing here? Hey, nice to see you again. Looks like you made it this far. Can you just leave me alone? I'm here at the castle and this beaver boy even brought me. Now I'm gonna go get your stupid chest. Wh who are you talking to? Don't you see? He's right here. He's the fox that cursed me and did all this craziness and ruined my life. Fox? What fox? I don't, I don't see a fox. He's literally right behind us. Ah, silly girl. Only those who I can curse can see me. Keep it up or I'll curse Beaver Boy too. Ugh, I could honestly care less if you curse Beaver Boy. Clearly he can't even see you, but whatever. What? You're gonna let me get cursed? I mean, clearly you can't see the wolf that cursed me or the fox or whatever he is. But yeah, I don't care if you get cursed, but me? I don't want to 
be cursed for life. Do you want me to show you the castle or not? Uh, I mean, I would never want you to get cursed. You're so kind. You have so many beavers. Uh <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. All right, all right. Leave Beaver Boy alone. He's gonna bring me to the castle, and then we're gonna go find your stupid treasure chest, okay? But please, don't curse us. Time is running out. You better hurry up, you little scrump. Go get my treasure, you and your stupid Beaver Boy. Okay, let's go get the treasure for this stupid wolf, all right, Beaver Boy? Hey, my name isn't Beaver Boy. I have a name, you know. Oh, yeah? Well, what was it again? Because I was too busy talking about your beavers to actually catch it. My name is Max. I've told you this already. All right, Max, Beaver Boy. Stop calling me Beaver Boy! Sorry, anyways, can you please lead us to this castle already? And then can you maybe, like, go inside, get a treasure chest, and then maybe I'll consider hanging with you? Are you sure you're gonna hang with me? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, let's go. <sighs> Alright, come on, follow me. Oh, this castle looks kind of scary. It looks like the door is completely shut. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going in there. Alright, you let us here. If you want to hang and go inside the castle, get the treasure for us. What treasure? Uh, the one we just talked about. Didn't I not just tell you that I want you to go up into that big scary castle, grab a treasure chest, run out, and then we're gonna go give it to the crazy firewolf slash fox so he doesn't curse us. And I'm a lady, so it's too intense for me, so you gotta do it! Huh? What are you talking about? <sighs> are you really that bland? I said you need to go into the castle, grab the treasure, or else I'm not hanging out with you, beaver boy! Milady, anything for you! Uh, okay, Max. Yeah, now go up into that scary castle up there and go grab the treasure, and I'll be waiting right here. Uh, and then we can hang out afterwards. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'll be right back. Wow. This is a really big door. Yeah, it is. Can you open it? Uh... Open the door. Okay, I'm going to open the door and get on the floor and do the dinosaur. No, you're going to grab the treasure chest. Well, that too, but I also want to do some funky moves. <sighs> this is going to take forever. Wow, I think this is the treasure chest. Swiggity swag. What's in the bag? Hey, it's a cake. Dummy thick. All right, I should probably bring it down to her then. All right, I got the chest. <gasps> you did? Oh, what was inside? Okay, hand it over. We have to give it to him quick. Oh, it was uh, it was a chocolate cake, but I kind of eated it. You what? I eated it. You did what? I eated it. What do you not understand about the word eated? You do know that whatever was in that chest was the only way that the both of us didn't get cursed for our life. It's a risk I'm willing to take. To eat an old moldy cake that was sitting in a treasure chest box for who knows how long? <laughs> Are you okay? Why would you eat the moldy cake? We're gonna get cursed. It was delicious. Ugh, you know what, Beaver Boy? I'm not hanging out with you. Good luck. You're gonna get cursed now. I warned you. No, m'lady, don't leave me. Too bad. I'm going. You ruined everything. Ugh. Well, well, well. What did I tell you? Morons. Absolute morons. You had one job and you failed it. I, it wasn't me. It was that stupid Beaver Boy. He was supposed to go get the treasure and he got it and he ate it. Besides, why would you need a moldy old cake anyways? That was all that was in the box. Moldy cake. You're lying to me. There were supposed to be some golden blocks in there that had magical powers. Where's that Beaver Boy? Uh, he's right there. He's passed out from all the cake he ate. Look at him. You can clearly see he's very, very sick. He ate, that, he ate that old cake. All right, that's enough. Both of you, I'm giving you the curse. Huh? What happened? Where am I? You're in the middle of the forest by a castle, and you just got us cursed. Huh? Who are you? You don't know who I am? How could you possibly not know who I am when you literally just wrecked my life? Why am I on the ground? Because you ate some cake and it made you sick. Who am I? You don't even know who you are? What was your curse to like lose your memory? I don't I don't know anything. I don't know my name. I don't know my job. I don't know my birthday. I don't know my favorite color. I don't know how to go to the bathroom. Ew. Okay, well if that's your curse, what 
What is mine? I thought he said he was gonna make me ugly, but I still look the same, right? You're really ugly, like coyote ugly. Ah! Ugly? But, but my hair, my makeup, I thought I looked cute. Wait, tell me I'm cute. Nah, you are mad ugly, chief. You a bro. I'm a man? Yeah, what's your name, broski? I got turned into a man! Ah! I don't look or feel like a man! So, broski, how are we gonna fix this? Tell me how it all is. Okay, homie, first off, I'm a woman, okay? So please, call me Lissy. My name is Lissy. Second off, you have a beaver farm, your name is Max, and you literally ruined our lives. What'd you say, Lester? What did you say again? So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.